Hey there everyone, meteorologist Patrick Hammer on this Monday. Lots of clouds today, uh, maybe some partial clearing later on, but uh, it's going to be a very slow process. Uh, temperatures in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees tomorrow. Uh, 42 with some light snow developing later on, uh, maybe mixed with a few raindrops and then light snow develops uh, tomorrow night into Wednesday morning and then it mixes with some light rain showers. So that's how it is between now and Wednesday. The weather gets a lot more active though by the end of the week. More on that coming up. So we have clouds and even a few flurries still continuing across the southern tier, especially into uh, Cattaraugus County. I think we're going to see a lot of clouds today and even a few flurries this morning. We're awaiting the arrival of this system here. This is going to be our weather maker for the middle part of the week starting later tomorrow as it kicks up some light snow, as I mentioned, uh, by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, maybe mixed in with a little bit of light rain. So here we go. Lots of clouds today, as you can see on future look. Uh, a slow clearing at best uh, tomorrow. We're going to thicken up the clouds and watch this. We will bring in some snow. It looks like as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, probably late afternoon and evening right along the lake shore it may mix with a little bit of light rain. And there you can see on Wednesday kind of a mix of light rain and snow with very minor accumulations. Temperatures again near 40 degrees and snowfall accumulations are going to be pretty minor. We're talking less than an inch, maybe one to two inches in the hills. That is through Wednesday. When you add in Thursday's numbers, we could see a few more inches down across Chautauqua County. Then we get into the latter part of the week. A cool flow of air is going to move over a relatively warm Lake Erie. The lake is right now running at a very warm temperature for the time of the year. 55 degrees was the temperature that was measured yesterday. That's a record for the day. You've got a large temperature difference between the cold air and the warm lake. That is going to set up the potential for some late week lake effect snow that could be on the heavy side, something we're going to watch. Where does the band set up? It's a little too early to tell, but this is something certainly worth watching as we head into uh, the um, latter part of this work week and into the weekend and then possibly into Sunday as well. So this is again something to watch. So here's our long range forecast for Niagara County. Light snow and rain tomorrow night into Wednesday, a minor accumulation. The lake effect could affect you too Friday into Saturday. Uh, the focus, though, appears that it will be over Buffalo with temperatures in the 30s where that heaviest lake effect snows could set up. Again, something really worth watching. For the South Towns, I think you're going to be under the gun, too, for some heavier lake snows. But it's the southern tier where the snow may be north of you. So that's why we still have snow showers here for Friday, Saturday. But the heaviest snows may be uh, north closer to Buffalo. Temperatures all the while back in the 30s. That lake effect snow band then would head back south on Sunday.